What is up, party peeps? Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Troy Talks a Lot. I can't find my pen, so I'm not writing on this thing right now. But today's lesson is how to make 2024 your bitch. Let me pull up my list of handy dandy notes because I wrote a lot of them. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys all had a wonderful holiday or holidays, I should say. Um, spent a lot of time with family friends, solo dolo, traveling the world, wherever it may be, wherever life had taken you. I hope that you had a wonderful, wonderful experience. And um, yeah, bitches, we're back. It's 2024. Let's kick it off with a good one. How to make 2024 your bitch. Numero uno. We're just going to get straight into it. I'm not even going to tell you about my holidays because they were amazing and we got way too intoxicated. First things first, write down your tasks for the day, the night before. Basically, write down everything you have to do for the following day, the night before. So if you're starting the week hot, like it's a Monday, Sunday night, write down the tasks that you have to accomplish or whatever you have to do to basically fulfill your goals and needs of the day, Sunday night before Monday comes around. So therefore, uh, so therefore you are not just going in blind because there's nothing worse than waking up in the morning and just being like, all right, it's Monday or it's Tuesday. Like, what am I supposed to do? And then you're just like, oh, should I have to do this? So you run to the store and do this. But then, but then like at night, you're like, shoot, I had like two or three other things that I actually had to do. And now here I am being like, oh, fuck, now I left it on to the next day. And it starts adding up and piling. And eventually your task starts piling and piling up and you don't actually get around to doing everything. So I think it's just easier if you kind of make a checklist and you're just like, bang, 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 get them out throughout the day. Half the time you kind of knock them out early in the morning, maybe midday. And by the, by evening, you're just like, okay, now I could go home, chill out and enjoy myself. So write down your tasks for the day, the night before. Um, I'm a huge believer in this. It, it just helps organize your day. Okay. So I guess I should say organize your day. Okay. Make a checklist the night before of the tasks that you have to complete the following day. Boom. Um, number two, um, Listen, I know people have jobs and they have work early in the morning, but wake up early. I just feel like if you wake up early, you have more hours in the day to get shit done. So while I'm up at 6 a.m. and my brother doesn't wake up till 10, 11, I've already got four or five hours on him versus him who sleeps till almost midday. And then he's like, okay, well, it's already one o'clock. I guess it's time to start thinking about lunch or dinner. It's like, bro, like I've already done x y and z before you even woke up so it's just kind of like the mamba mentality i don't know um, if you guys ever watched like kobe bryant documentaries he was always like wake up early because it'll set yourself apart from those that are still sleeping they always say the early bird gets the worm it's so true like you're waking up early you're getting to the gym early you're getting to work early you're you're planning your day early you're you know getting any errands or I don't know, glasses out of the way early. You know, if you wake up at six, seven in the morning, even earlier if you want to, that's a little too extreme. I'm just saying like six, seven in the morning, like you have two, three hours over most people because they all like to sleep until like nine, 10 anyways. So um, just wake up early. I feel like it kind of separates the boys from the men. Um, number three, hit the gym. I know it's so cliche to say because everyone's like, oh, 2024 is the year where I'm going to go hit the gym and get shredded. It shouldn't just be because it's a new year, new me kind of thing. It's just once you're done, you feel like you've accomplished the hardest task of the day, which is very true. Working out is not easy. Half the time, people don't want to go to the gym. You think I want to wake up at six in the morning and go to the gym? Fuck no. But do I feel better about myself once I'm done? Yes. Going to the gym helps teach you discipline and self-control. And for that reason, I love going to the gym. Again, do I like waking up at 6 a.m. to go lift weights? Fuck no. Does anybody? I don't think so. I mean, there are those that like love to do it. Do I love to do it? No. But do I love how it makes me feel? Do I love the, the benefits of one, being healthy and two, looking good? Fuck yes. Yeah, obviously. That's why people go to the gym. So by going to the gym, especially early in the morning, you've already accomplished the hardest task of the day and it just sets you up for success. It just sets the tone for the rest of your day. The one time where it's just like you time, you just put your headphones on, you lock in and you just go work out. You do whatever it is that you're working on, whatever it is that you want to improve in yourself and you just get it fucking done. And once you get it done and you go take a shower and you're all clean and, you get, and you're ready to tackle the day, you're already like, shit. 
wow, I feel like I've been up for hours. I feel great. I have this energy. I have this adrenaline boost. I have this mental clarity. I just feel good about myself. I feel confident. I feel hot. Like those, those are all the things I feel like you should feel in the morning in order to set the tone for the day. By waking up early and going to the gym early, it really sets the tone here. Get the hardest task out of the way early so that it really sets the tone for the rest of the day. I'm a huge believer in that. I've said it a billion, billion times. I'm sorry for reiterating that so much, but just a huge, firm believer in that. Anyways, go to the gym. I like this one. I was thinking about this one as I was writing, go to the gym. This applies with a lot of things. I feel the more you think, the less likely you are to do it. If I wake up at like six in the morning and I'm tired, my alarm goes off and I'm like, I really don't wanna to go to the gym today. It's too early, I'll go later. As soon as I'm like, I don't wanna do this, that is the moment that I rip off my covers, get dressed, start brushing my teeth, throw all my clothes in my bag and I'm out the door. Like as soon as I'm at the gym and I'm lifting weights and I'm like, put them down and I'm rested for a little bit and I'm like, fuck, I don't wanna do another set, I do it. Like the moment I think I don't wanna do this is the time that I do it just to basically show my mind discipline, to show my body discipline, show my brain that like, hey man, fuck you, I'm in control of myself, not you, okay? You can't control me, I can control me. Even though I, you know, I understand that kind of sounds stupid to say, but like you're in control of yourself. So I like the idea of, once you think, oh man, I probably shouldn't do this or any kind of doubt that you have in your mind, that's the exact moment you should do it. Stop thinking, just do. Next. Okay, this one kind of goes back to the hard 30 that I'm doing with my boy Gabe. Um, read a book. So we've said that, hey, you got to read 10 pages of a just educational book. It could be this, it could be learning a new language, it could be um, studying in school. I mean, if you guys are in school, then I guess you're kind of doing that already, but just do something for you. You know, you don't have to read a science book, you don't have to read a history book, but huge fan of this. If you guys haven't read this, please, 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 I'm not getting paid for this. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. It's, it's one of my favorite books. I'm rereading it right now. Um, I just think it's nice to constantly improve yourself so by reading, you know, 10 pages, you sit down, it takes you, what, 10, 15 minutes, maybe 20 if you're a slow reader. Um, like me, I'm a really slow reader. But read 10 pages, constantly improving, constantly educating yourself, constantly growing your wisdom and brain and knowledge. It makes you feel good. And the more you learn, the more educated you become. And the more, educa and the more educated you become, the more attractive you are. Um, and the more confident you feel. So read... 10 pages. I think it's really helpful. I think you'll find it helpful. And um, before you know it, 10 pages a day goes a long way. In a couple of weeks, you're done with the book. This is going to take me, what, like not even two weeks. I started top of the year and I'm almost halfway through it. It's great. It's 10 pages a day. It's so simple. You have 10, 15 minutes to spare. Here's another good one. Journal. Journal, journal, journal. I always thought it was lame. I always thought it was, again, cliche. I thought it was for pussies, to be totally honest. I, I wrote right here, I go, journal, journal, journal. It sounds so cliche, but I'm such a fan. It helps me set intentions, track progress, and motivate me to continue with my goals. So true. I think by writing it down, you're helping manifest and I'm trying to learn how to manifest. I would put that down here. I just don't know enough to teach it, but if you know how to do it, more power to you. Manifestation is real. I've watched so many videos on it. It's still hard as fuck for me. I don't know why, but I'm learning. And I feel like the first steps are writing down your goals, setting expectations, you know, tracking milestones. And with that, um, I don't know. I just, I just love, I just love journaling. Like I've, look at this. I've written down so much. Like it's almost done, but it, it's so cool to kind of look back on like a couple months ago of what I was writing then to now. And it feels like everything I write down, it somehow comes into fruition and it just, it just works and not to get like all spiritual on you guys but like by you writing it down it's you putting the energy into the universe and by you just being accepting of like hey 
I'm writing it down. I'm working towards it. This is what's going to happen to me. You're already setting your intentions. Now, all you have to do is, is follow the steps in order to achieve that goal. Let me read what I wrote. I said, piggybacking off of journaling, set your goals, milestones, and path to get there. By setting or writing down these things, you're already ahead of the game. By having a clear image of what you want and how you're going to get it, you're going to move differently. You're going to feel more motivated the more milestones you accomplish, and you're going to be inspired by the progress you have made since the first day. Don't go in blind, go in with a purpose. I wrote down all of my goals the other day and slowly but surely creating a path on how to get there. Now, I'm not saying by you writing down the path, that's exactly the steps you're going to take. Sometimes you hit little forks in the road and sometimes you have to, you know, go back a few steps and kind of go around if you're kind of, if you kind of seem to hit a wall. But by you writing it down and having that mindset of being like, you know what, I'm going to be the number one teacher or, oh, I'm going to accumulate, I don't know, $100,000 by the end of the year. Eventually, the more you say it, to yourself, the more you start to believe it. And the more you start to believe it, the more you start to just move differently, the sooner you start to achieve it. That sounds so silly to say, but it's so true. It's so true. It's like you're casting spells in your spell book by just writing down your goals, by writing down your intentions. It is so powerful. Listen, don't take my word for it. Just try it out for like a month. Just try it out for a month. It's so, it's so, I honestly look forward to it. It sounds so lame. And I'm sorry if I sound like one of those weirdos that is like, journal everything. Literally journal everything. It is so helpful. This It just clears your mind. It takes all of this chaos that's happening up, up here because you're thinking like 300,000 billion times a day. You're putting it all down on paper and speaking it into existence. You're saying, hey universe, hey world, this is what I want and I'm not going to stop until I get it. And just miraculously, it just all starts coming to you. Obviously, you have to put in the work. I'm not saying you just write it down. It's going to happen if you sit in bed all day. But by writing it down, that's the first step to success. Two, you start just making progress. You start moving towards your goals, hitting milestones. When you hit milestones, you'll read back in your journal. you just be like, wow, I did that. That's so sick. Look at the progress I've made since a month ago. You know, then mind you, two months, three months, four months. Like before you know it, you've hit it and you're just like, shit, I just manifest it. I just manifested all of this. I just made it all happen by writing it down in a silly little journal. Write shit down. Journal, journal, journal. Next one. I just threw this one in right before I hit record. Cut out all of the negative energy and people in your life. You don't need it. You have to learn that by having those people around they do nothing but suck your good energy out of you. They just don't allow you to become the best version of you. Sometimes you have to close certain doors to allow others to open. Um, cut out all negative energy. Just cut it out. On top of that, start thinking more positively. I think by moving with love and and happiness, a lot of people can read that. Again, the universe, the, the world just feels your good vibrations and it will start attracting positive human beings into your life. As you can tell, I've been on my spiritual journey bullshit. I'm not actually on a spiritual journey, but like I've been watching a lot more just just vibrations and frequencies and mental clarity and just becoming like a better human being. And they say, you are what you attract. And you've heard that a billion times, but it's so true. If you attract, I don't know, negativity, you're going to be, if you, you know, if you put into the world negativity, you're going to attract negativity. If you are miserable, then you're going to attract miserable people. That's why you see winners staying with winners and losers staying with losers. That's just that's just the name of the game. So the more you could find happiness within yourself and show that to others, the sooner, again, the universe, the world will bring you positive, influential people into your life. And I think that just kind of all starts with moving with love and happy intentions. I, yeah. You are what you put out into the world. So put out positive energy and you'll receive positive energy. Okay, I wrote this down. This kind of goes hand in hand with don't think, just do. But this is what I wrote. Ready? <clears throat> just like Nike, just do it. Today is the first day of the rest of your life. If you want to change, then change. If you don't, then don't. It's that simple. Start now because in six months from now, you'll be thanking yourself. If you keep pushing it off for tomorrow, you'll never develop discipline and self-control. And in six months, you'll be in the same position that you are now. 
Do I need to say anything else? If you want change, go make it happen. If you don't and you're content with how you are now, by all means, enjoy your life. I'm not going to tell you what to do, but if you're not happy with what you are or what you're doing now, fucking change. Nobody's going to change for you. The world continues to spin whether or not you sit in bed all day. Okay. Whether or not you decide, oh, I'm cool with my nine to five, even though I get paid for nothing and my boss fucking sucks. Okay. If you don't like it, change, change. You want change, go change, make a change. If you want change, make a change. Bang. Last one, last one, last one. Please remember, it's your life. Do what makes you happy. Kind of like what I just said. If you don't like it, if you don't like what you're doing, if you don't feel fulfilled, if you don't find happiness in the career path that you've chosen, change. Do what makes you happy. If that doesn't make you happy, then change. Okay? They always say that you don't work a day in your life if you enjoy what you do. It's true. Find what makes you happy and exploit that. Go out, try to figure out a way to make a buck from it, and you'll never work a day in your life. Okay? If you enjoy, if you genuinely enjoy what you do, you will never work a day in your life. You never will. Okay? You will never work a day in your life. I hope you have a great day. Move with love. Move with happiness. Journal down everything. Just do it. Don't even think. Wake up early. Hit the gym. Feel good about yourself. Get the hardest task out of the, out of the way early in the day. And you will be setting yourself up for success. I love you. Thanks for watching another episode of Troy Talks A Lot. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.